Want to learn more about resilience, coastal protection, flood protection, uh, uh, active mobility, uh, green environments. So uh, these are all topics where we are really cooperating on within the ministry as well, because we have three transitions where we are working on, and that's climate adaptation, um, smart and sustainable mobility, and circular economy. It wasn't like this before, but I mean, we had our share of disasters as well. And the very important one, and you probably know this, is the one in 1953, which really leads lead to a shift in our thinking about the priorities we have to make and also how we have to put our water governments sort of beyond political debates. We are focusing more and more on the cross-sectoral overlap. So a lot of the work we do is actually on water and food, water and energy, water and mobility, water and resilience. Imagine that the water falls on this side uh, of the dike in, in, in case of heavy rainfall. So we have 1100 pumping stations to pump the city dry, but that's not enough because our system can cope with 20 millimeters an hour rainfall, and with climate change, it's more intense rainfall, especially in the summer. So, therefore, we need storages like this. Sometimes you have too much water, and in other periods, you have too little water. Can we connect the dots and make it circular? When there are a lot of storms, and the water level is high, it blows it to protect the country from the sea. Our history is the, the, the battle with the sea. On the flooding in Limburg, if they would have had 20 kilometers of temporary flood defense system like the box barrier ready, right. it would have saved 8% of the total damages. This is tube barrier, uh, one of the self filling systems. Uh, so this is not free, uh, filled with water. And as you can see here, we have holes in there, so the system just automatically fills itself. Look from above, the Netherlands, small tiny country, but 40% of our country is floodable. If we leave it, <laughs> this is what left of the country. and also a permanent solution for the future. Idea, like, we are very happy if a lot of the things we do here leave this place and go to the real world. When we look at projects, don't look only at water, don't look only at the built environment, don't look only at the history of all the spaces, look at all these layers at the same time, we call the layer approach. Think about all these elements when you think about it certain project development. Many of the economic activities in Holland are protected by this coast here. And at that time, this was the so-called weakest link. But you are now standing on a levee. And uh, the boundaries of the levee are these cobblestones here and there. And the other thing is, at that time, uh, the municipality of Katwijk thought, well, when they are going to do such a major works, maybe we can combine that with uh, a parking garage. And uh, I'm standing here as the project manager for the Dutch Cycling Embassy. And as the name already tells you, we really focus on cycling. And in, in a broader term, more on active mobility and how can that contribute to a livable world, livable cities, livable places to live in, in terms of our environment, but also in terms of our own health, because you're a bit more active. Our advice is go for this holistic approach. From our experiences, this is the way how to make it work. And this is what we will show you uh, on the streets, but please also have, yeah, let it experience you and analyze it for yourself. How does it feel? Of course, in this holistic approach, most of the intersections are really safe, so they go by hands by hands. But if you don't do it in a holistic way, we don't think you will reach what you get. And this is our our advisory guidelines are based on.
go bike parking in Rotterdam. That easy. Just like that.